there's few things spookier than a skeleton. Yet, each and every one of us has a bunch of interconnected bones rattling around inside our body. Ooh, creepy. But why do we have skeletons inside of us? And what even are bones? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Questions. If you think about it, having a skeleton inside your body is a little weird, but it definitely beats having no bones. Without them, you'd be a big blob of skin, hair, muscles, and organs that would not be ideal. Your skeleton, spooky as it might be, gives your body shape, helps you move around, protects your vital organs, and even helps produce new red and white blood cells. Another freaky fact about your bones? The number of bones you have inside your body actually changes as you age. As babies, you have about 300 inside your little body. But by the time you grow up, you'll have only 206 bones left. Huh? It might sound like some sort of freaky Halloween trick, but the reason we lose some of our bones as we get older isn't actually all that spooky. You see, babies have a whole lot of growing to do, and quickly. To give their new bodies plenty of space to grow into adults, some of their adult bones start out in pieces. As you get older and bigger, those bones grow and get bigger too, forming and fusing together to eventually form one big bone. And just like that, you've lost some of those baby bones. Your skeleton is divided into two systems, the axial and appendicular skeletons. The axial skeleton is made up of all the bones in the trunk of your body, which is basically the middle core part of your body. The appendicular skeleton is all the bones in your limbs, including your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Fun fact, more than half your bones are in your hands and feet, 27 in each hand and wrist, and 26 in each foot and ankle. One more creepy fact, your bones are actually alive. And like any other living thing, they need to be properly fed and nourished. Calcium is a super important mineral for feeding your bones, so make sure you're getting enough. Milk has lots of calcium, but if that's not your jam, try cheese, yogurt, kale, broccoli, spinach, soybeans, figs, oranges, and kiwi to name just a few options. And just as important to bone health as a good diet is getting good exercise too. When you exercise regularly, your bones keep up with all that working out by building even more strong, dense bone. In other words, the more you work out your body, the stronger, denser, and healthier your bones get. If you don't take good care of your bones, they'll start to have issues just like any other part of your body. Unhealthy bones get brittle and break easily. Without strong, healthy bones, the rest of your body can't be strong and healthy. So, why do we have so many bones in our body? Because all 200 plus of them work together to give us our shape, help us move, protect our organs, and produce blood cells to nourish our bodies. In other words, without bones, we'd all just melt into pathetic puddles. Literally. And if you ask me, that's way freakier than a skeleton.